Tyrese Halliburton straight up scary. Dude, he had that deep three. Literally caught it, turned half court. It felt like and he just made it. Also, I'm still visiting my parents and my mom's house. That's why the audio is different. But guys, Tyrese Halliburton, another one. Drove to the rim and then literally was going up. And then he just dropped it off, I think, to Miles Turner it was. Miles Turner still doing his thing. Okay. Aaron Neesmith was just making his former team go like, you guys just didn't know how to use me. Okay, you guys didn't know how to use me. Turns out I'm actually like an undersized power forward. I'm an undersized power forward. Seriously, Aaron Neesmith, physical, dominant, aggressive, and still shoots three, you know, threes and stuff. And like, look, Tyree, and like also, Tyrese, like, I mean, Aaron, Miles, Andrew, Buddy Heald, all the, this whole team, even if they're not shooting well from three like tonight, they shot 46%, but not everyone was hitting their shots. Jalen Smith, and it, like, I like Aaron E. Smith, but I obviously think Jalen Smith is, like, the future of the front court right there. Like, I like the idea of if they keep Miles Turner long term, Jalen Smith, Miles Turner, ooh, that rebounding shot blocking there. And then you also got the idea of, like, Isaiah Jackson there, too, but look. Benedict Matherin, he had a quiet game. Chris Duarte, he's starting to come back alive. People forgot about him. But th that's the thing. They got all these, like, guys who can beat you in transition, like Duarte, Matherin. All right? Neesmith. Buddy Heald. Hal Burton. Nemhard. Those are all their, like, guards and wings who are, like, big. And then you go over to their, like, forwards slash bigs. You got forwards, Bursette and Terry Taylor. Okay? And Jalen Smith is like a forward who can is also center. And well, we we're also forgetting about TJ McConnell, another guard. But those are the three like hybrid forward centers. And then you got Isaiah Jackson, Miles Turner, and then also Smith who can play center. Goga, who's actually not bad at all. Like I, I like this team. And obviously Tyrese is like, this guy's got to be like third team All NBA. This team's looking like they're going to be a play-in team. First off, Rick Carlisle, Rick Carlisle is a great coach, underrated coach. Scrutinized coach, if I have to say so myself. But Tyrese at this point is just like what he's doing is just unreal. And I remember I was a guy who I was high on Tyrese. I basically I said Tyrese Halburn reminded me of Sean Livingston. Obviously, not as athletic as Sean Livingston with a jump shot coming out of college. Like I'm talking about Sean Livingston, like Clipper Sean Livingston. Without, you know, Sean Livingston was an extreme athlete and people forget all about that. But I'm talking about the fact that people forget how good Sean Livingston was. That like, he had the same passing acumen and like play style. And I'm not saying Tyrese isn't a great athlete. He's a great athlete. Just Sean Livingston was like an elite Usherlon athlete before that terrible injury. And I had Tyrese personally going in most of my mock drafts to the Atlanta Hawks because in my mind I thought oh my god Tyrese being 6'5 imagine Tyrese and Trey Young that was my whole thing in the mock draft and then as more I saw what the other the experts were doing they were saying Okongu to Atlanta so I changed it but I for most of my mocks you can go back I had Tyrese going to Atlanta and it's crazy this is a guy who's just gotten better and better and better every year. And he's just so efficient. The guy's averaging a double-double, 20 points, 10, almost 11 assists a night, like a league leader. The guy's an animal. Absolute animal. And it's just so much fun to watch. I want, I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think of the Indiana Pacers? Are you guys on the same page as me? Or am I just speaking out my tuchen, as they like to say in Yiddish? But I really... I just think this team is scary because just think about what they'll be in a year, two years, once they start getting free agents and shit in here. That's when it's all going to start making noise. And it's going to be fun. And this is a team that I think people are going to be, are like kind of like low key, like counting out at times. Like the media isn't talking about them. And I think they're a team that deserves to be talked about, deserves to be praised because praise is deserved to everyone. Hey, and maybe in the future I move to Indianapolis. I love Indianapolis. It's one of my favorite cities to drive by, one of my favorite cities to stop by. I've stopped by there a few times. I've visited a few times. I've been at the uh, White Castle right next to the Lucas Oil Stadium. Stopped at the Greyhound Station there. Rode a Greyhound through Indianapolis. Indianapolis is a good time. Got nothing except nice things to say about Indianapolis. 
Oh, yeah, Pacers. I've also stopped at the Basketball Hall of Fame. I didn't go inside because they were charging $25. I did go inside, but I didn't go view the stuff because they were trying to charge $25 and I was in the middle of driving to school. And I was just like, this isn't really justified $25. It was primarily Larry Bird shit. So I, I will say, like, there was that. So. Bye.